My name is Wafa Ali Mustafa. I'm a Syrian journalist and activist. The 18th of November marks Ala Abdel Fattah 40th birthday. On this occasion, to honor Ala and to remind all of us of what an inspiration he is, I will read parts of his book, You Have Not Yet Been Defeated. I will read first a passage from an article Ala wrote in the chaos of solitude at Al Dukki police station in the year 1920, the article titled Five Metaphors on Healing, and the passage I will read titled Hunting. They will not eject you from history as long as you can still speak. They will not banish you to the past as long as you can still listen. But which prison do you inhabit? Hunt the dreams of your comrades and the nightmares of your enemies. Live in the future that never came. Be a specter, a memory, a herald. Remind them that the current state was not inevitable until it came to be. Do not occupy yourself with the question of why this very possible future failed. Leave the victorious to grope for answers. Be the question and do not heed your impotence. A ghost has no need for material presence or action. You just need to shimmer. The second part I will read is from an article Ala wrote in Torah prison in the year 2014 on his first date of strike and just days before his father, Ahmad Saif al-Islam Abdel Fattah passed away. This text resonated with me as my family and I have been for years fight, fighting to find the truth of what happened to my father, Ali Mustafa, who has been forcibly disappeared by the Assad regime for more than eight years. The text titled, I've Reached My Limit. My repeated imprisonment is a chapter in my family's history of struggle. Together, we build on the work and struggle of the thousands who never give up and the millions who sometimes rise up. Today, the chain is broken. Sana is in prison and needs someone to look after her instead of her looking after me. Manal struggles alone to protect Khalid from the consequences of my imprisonment and the lack of income. Mona and my mother take turns to care for my father, who is unable to defend me in court. So I ask for your permission to fight today, not only for my freedom, but for my family's right to life. Starting from today, I will deny my body food until I am allowed to stay the night by my father's side as his body fights to hold on. There is no dignity for a body that is deprived of the embrace of its loved ones. I ask for your prayers. I ask for your solidarity. I ask you to continue where I have stopped, to fight, to dream, to hope. Happy birthday, Allah.